In response to your question about heritage and populism, um, of course heritage is, is, is implicated in um, the right-wing populist movements that we're seeing developing across Europe and, 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 and much of the West. Uh, we can see it underwriting the, the, the xenophobia and the, um, and the racism of, of Brexit. Um, we see it in the sort of sense of weaponised nostalgia that is uh, taken up in the, in the Make America Great Again uh, campaign, the again, of course, referencing a particular nostalgic and reading of, of America's past. Um, but I think an important point is that heritage doesn't necessarily lead to right-wing populism. Heritage um, can be used in a multiple, multiple ways to support uh, radical left-wing, um, as much as radical right-wing um, readings of the past. Uh, I think I think the left has been um, uh, hesitant in engaging with nostalgia and, and, and with heritage and, and uh, as I was saying to you before, um, Bonnet's 2010 book, uh, Left in the Past, makes the argument that, uh, that the left has historically been um, uncomfortable with dealing with issues of nostalgia and, 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 and addressing the past and he makes the argument that we need to, on the left, engage, engage with these issues. I think um, it's also important to, to realise that nostalgia is not always right wing. Nostalgia, like, like heritage, is, is used for a number of, in a number of ways to engage, to take those things that we value from the past and bring them to help us read into the present. And that can be a conservative reading or it can be a radical liberal reading, a progressive reading, um, as much as a conservative reading. So I think the, the, the lessons for, for, for us in, in dealing with, with the use of heritage in populism is to start to think about, well, how do we, how do we counter that? How do we acknowledge the, not only how we uh, counter that, but how do we acknowledge the legitimacy of people's nostalgic yearnings and feelings for the past that is not dismissive, that utilises those in, in, in ways that um, gives self-esteem to those groups in society who feel um, a lack of regard, a lack of recognition, a lack of acknowledgement of their achievements both in the past and, and, and in the present. So I think we need a, a, a far more critical uh, engagement with, with nostalgia and heritage and, and not to, to simply throw up our hands and say, well, it's been weaponised by Trump, it's been weaponised by the right in, in, in Europe. We can't deal with it anymore. We have to, we have to engage with it. We have to engage with it sensitively and, and critically. Thank <laughs> you.